Pilot's seat. Very nice. Now, maximum right pedal. There you go. And by altering that pitch angle, you alter which way the tail moves. Now, the angles are critical again. So, what we have is a special little block with its little aerofoil shape cut out in there, which will slot over the blade, like so, between rivets. That'll do nicely. Now, put in left pedal again, mate. The left pedal, we need maximum eight degrees. Unfortunately, unlike the collective control, where the pitch link has opposite threads either end, so you can just turn the link and it makes the adjustment, and you literally have to just keep dismantling it, checking it, and then putting it back together again. So 11.5 needs a bit more twiddling, but you get the principle. I need to adjust that until I've got eight degrees negative on full left pedal, then we get a full right pedal, and it should be 24 degrees positive. Fingers crossed. So, a bit more fiddling. Right, Pete, very important. Keep the paint mixed. OK, it's OK. Off we go. Keep Straight. shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking. All done, and you've been very, very good, so I'm going to let you have a look at it. Now, Pete, mate, I need a hand. You're going to love this. This helicopter is the dog's kahunas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Stop. Down it goes. I am so pleased with this paint job, I cannot tell you. Bit of a problem doing it though, because the yellow bit, if you spray yellow on top of black, you end up with green. So every yellow bit here has had to be masked out and sprayed with a white primer before the yellow's gone on to get that very vivid yellow colour that makes it look like the wasp I wanted it to be. It's taken 160 man hours to do this paint job and clearly I would like to take the credit for it myself, but that would be stretching the truth just a tad far because actually it's down to these guys. We've got to move on because this chopper is very, very nearly finished. All that remains to be done is to fit out the cockpit, run the engine and then a test flight. Now I say all that needs to be done because actually it's going to take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, so we better crack on. <whistles> this stuff is a very special foam and you need it under your backside to protect your spine in case of a very heavy landing or an accident. We need to cut the bits to fit in here, so there are three layers in the seat base which will sit on the fibreglass here and each one has to be cut individually because the shape changes as you come up from the base because of the sloping front here and also there's this moulding edge here that I need to cut round. So, 30 centimetres across there, coming the other way is 22. Now, already underneath the seat, in here, there are already five layers of this foam, and this will be three more on top, so there'll be a total of eight layers of this to protect your spine in case of a very heavy landing. I'll we'll take account of this ridge in the moulding. Right, so a little bit of freehand there to join up the dots at the corners, but I've got the shape. Now, all I need to do is cut it out on the bandsaw. Right, job done. Let's see if that fits. Yep, yeah, I had to do it again. It's bigger now and it should fit. <laughs> Look at that, perfect, in the bottom. And two more. One which goes in like so. And the third one will sit in like that. That is comfortable enough and safe enough even for Pete's big... <laughs> the seat itself is less of a seat and more of a... ...futon. 
very comfortable though, and it fits in there like that. It'll be velcroed to this back panel. There'll be an inspection panel over there. And then down here, it's got a little flap which will have this aluminium plate slid through there like that, which will then be bolted onto the back of the fiberglass seat well there, which will stop the seat from sliding forwards. Because, of course, very, very laid back pilots might kind of end up in a position like that, which would be highly dangerous. So, it's a bit of marking and a bit of drilling. David, have you got your flexible tape? Inches. Do you take the five to the middle of the aluminium strip? Nut plates are in. I've also got the aluminium strip is already in here, and I've got my two screws through ready to attach it to the fiberglass. So, one in there and one down there. Now, need my foam. One, two, there we are, like that. There will be a panel on the back, but don't worry about that for now. And then the seat will sit like that. Now. Da, 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 da. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Oh, suits you, sir. Very nice indeed. Now, Pete, mate, yeah. if you want to ride in this helicopter, may I suggest you find yourself something to sit on? Right, mate. Haven't seen a headlining anywhere, have you? This'll be it. Groovy, huh? Now... Where my head was, there, will be the switch panel up in the roof of the cockpit. These are for the little eyebrow windows. And to put it in, it's a gluing job. I've already put the glue in the cockpit, that's just going off because it needs to be tacky before we stick it. So it's a case of gluing this, letting it go up a bit, and then trying to get it in in one swift move with the help of Pete Mate. Our attempts at doing this kind of gluing um, are not good, it has to be said, on previous occasions, and we more than once have had to take it off and do it all again. So bear with us, here we go. Yep. Cop hold of this yes. and don't take it anywhere near. No! Nowhere near it. Beard. I don't want your beard in it. Don't you pushing it very close? Oh, to sorry. Yes. Very, very close. No, down, oh. down. Right, now I've got to cover these up here. Just don't talk to me while I'm doing it. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this the most ridiculous thing you've ever done in your life? <laughs> yes. What's she muttering about? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not helping at all. Pete, you know this little eyebrow window here? It reminds me of what it must have been like in like one of those Apollo missions. Oh, yeah. You know, when they lined down like that and it was all quilted like that inside, That's wasn't right. it? Looking out and going, Pete, it's the Earth! The handle's all been painted up black and the stick itself's all chromed up. It's beautiful. The wiring's in. We've got three plugs down at the bottom here, which connects up to the top of the handle where there is the press to torque. And if I let go of that, if I press it again, then you can hear me, you see? It's very clever. In the middle is the button for the starter to start the engine with its little flip-top lid. And on the other side is the button that will flip the frequency from the standby window into the active window on the radio, so it'll change the frequency for you without having to touch the radio. And it just slots the whole thing into there like that. Wires will go down underneath the floor, and then it's just a matter of lining up the hole for the bolt. Right, there we go. That's sorted. And then tighten it up. The connections under the floor. We've got the first one is the starter. Just a 
press fit. There we go. Then the press to talk. And then the remote for the radio. There we go, sorted, right.